Margaret, she had this idea of building this hospice. They said, you know, your wife is living in Cuckoo Land. She's getting a mission impossible. medium of uh, children to uh, express themselves. This place is made for the children. It's not a hospital. This is a place um, to enjoy yourself. A Beit Abdallah is different. It's not about an end result. It's about what's going on now. Well, Jude and her mom we've known for quite a long time now. So it's around at night, your back pain, and it's on this side. Both sides. Both sides, okay. And what does it feel like, that pain? Can you think of a word? It's like a burning. A burning sensation. Now, that's a brilliant word. And if zero is no burning, and 10 is the worst burning that you've ever, ever had, where are you from zero to 10? on the burning side for that back. Nine, eight, like that. So that is pretty bad, eight or nine. A lot of the kids know exactly what's going on. They're really wise to that. When Jude gets extra pains, she needs to have a dose of the morphine to get rid of that pain. Because <laughs> we've got to see how, how much medicine she needs to get on top of her pain because we don't want to have any pain at all. I think that we could get this pain much, much better than it is now. When families come here and they see the facility, it's very comfortable, it's light and easy, there's lots of space for the children, it gives them comfort. Chalets is a nice thing because I wanted the whole family to share this experience with him. I don't want just the mother going all crazy trying to, to deal with him and the kids that are back home and, and her husband and all that. I wanted all of them to experience this. Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell, do you know where they put my shadow? Even though I am the activities coordinator, the preference of the child is paramount. Peter Pan says, put your hands in the air. We have a theater, they can do some role play and therefore they are being somebody else. Uh, they feel like they've forgotten one part and now they're exploring another so, part. Who is good dancer here? Right, left, right. We completely encourage sibling and family participation because we recognize that as an important aspect in the healing process. If a child is happy, then, you know, I've done my duty. Each child needs a different kind of care plan. Maybe two children have a brain tumor, but the pathophysiology and the way it progresses is completely different. So you can't give them the same food. You just have to kind of work off of where they are, work off of their blood results, see what, where they're at, to then go ahead and design a plan for them that'll kind of ease their way. It's all about presentation. When you present something, Fun, the kids will eat it, no matter what it is. They're like, ooh, what's that? Everything that we do has a purpose. 
apple pie, everyone's like, oh my God, like how could that be good for you? But when you really look at it and you break down the contents, the crust is made out of nuts, you know, which are high in vitamin E, high in omegas, high in many, many vitamins and minerals that these children need. And in the middle, you know, it's made with almond flour and apples. So we have a high protein content. And the top is filled with medium chain triglycerides, date sugar, all filled with the good stuff. gives a choice to parents. Children want to be at home, parents want to look after their children at home. So to be able to provide a home care service where parents can contact the experts any time, day or night, was very essential. Aya is a very smart girl, and she's been suffering for many years. And that means that the girl grow in age and her understanding becoming much better. And when children grow, they become more wiser and more understanding and knowing to what's happening in their body. Two, three. يعني رجعها لحركة يعني مو طبيعية طبيعي يعني رجعها يعني مستوى كتير حلو مشان تساعدني إيدك آه وإن شاء الله كمان كمان بترجع الأول بأمر الله تعالى فضل قال الله تعالى إننا نحن نزلنا الذكر الدراسة أم يعني فعلا شيء مهم بالنسبة لي لأنه ليش أنا السلاح أكيد للبنا الحمد لله على كل شيء أول شيء الصبر الإنسان يصبر والأمل بالله يعني كلنا أملنا بالله إن شاء الله If it wasn't for Kuwaitis that donated uh, for Beit Abdullah, it wouldn't be here. One very clever way of funding this building was breaking up the building into different components or different areas and selling them off. And whoever sponsored a certain area, the area would be named after them. And it, it's a nice way to have involvement. It's a nice way for people to be invested in an organization, um, which is how it should be. Very good news. We have received an official uh, fatwa that Beit Abdullah is qualified for zakat. Ultimately, um, we would hope to be a fully fledged service which is sustainable. And without the community's help, we won't be able to function. And we require this not just for their financial support, we require them because we wish to continue to be in partnership with them. And it's very important for our families to see that this is not just us doing it, but the community as a whole taking part in this service.